In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to draw a piece of pumpkin pie using colored pencils. But first, lightly in pencil, I'm going to draw my slice of pie, and I'm beginning by drawing a triangle to represent the top of the pie piece. Notice how I start by placing dots where I want the corners of my triangle to be so that I can really think about the overall composition. Next, I'm going to take down a vertical line on the right and the left sides, but the left side I'm going to curve in slightly, and then I'll connect those two lines. For the crust of the pie, beginning a little bit to the left so that I can make a nice curve here, I'm going to draw a line down and follow along the bottom edge to show the thickness of the crust. The top edge of the crust is just going to be a wavy line. Next, to draw the whipped cream, I start with a curved line for the bottom, and then I just gently wave that up and give it a little bit of a crest at the top. And then finally, in the whipped cream, I'm going to draw two shapes that are sort of like a crescent moon shape or almost like a Nike swish symbol. Finally, I'm going to show the edge of the plate. I'm going to just draw a slightly curving line along the top. And I'm going to give it a bit of a rim as well. Now, if you feel like you could see the bottom edge of your plate, you could add that as well in yours, but I don't think I would see it in mine. What I am going to still show in mind, though, is where the bottom of the plate is lower than the top, and this will help me with shading later. Speaking of shadows, I'm going to have a bit of a cast shadow come off from the pie piece onto the plate, so I'm going to show where that would be. Any lines that need to be erased with pencil, I'll erase now, and then I'll move on to adding some color. You will only need a few colors of colored pencil for this drawing. Yellow, orange, brown, red, purple, and blue. The first color I use is going to be yellow, and I'm going to color in every area of the pie except for the very top of the crust, which I'll leave white. Notice how I'm holding my pencil. I'm gripping it with my thumb and index finger, and I'm holding it down away from the tip and using the side of the pencil to create broad strokes. Next, I'm going to layer with orange pencil. I'm going to use more orange on the top of the pie piece and a little bit less on the side so that the sides look more of a yellow orange. I'm also going to use a little bit of orange in the crust. Notice how I'm leaving an area underneath the whipped cream that's a bit lighter. I'm going to continue to add less color in that one area. I'll layer the orange with more yellow, and the yellow will help mix up the colors together. Next, I'll mix in some red to turn the color of the top of the pie piece to more of a red-orange, and I'll use some of that red in the bottom right area underneath the whipped cream. I'll add in some purple to the same two areas as well, especially along where the crust is, and I'll add some purple to the crust to darken it and add some texture and contrast. Purple is the color I'll use to shade the right-hand side of the whipped cream also, and I'll use that to start shading in my cast shadow on the plate. I use a little bit of purple along the rim of the plate as well. Blue is an excellent color to use in the background of a piece that has an orange subject matter since they're complementary colors. And blue is also a great color to mix in for your shadows. And lastly, I'll circle around and add a little bit of the blue on the left side of the plate as well. The last color I'll be using a bit of is brown, and I'll be placing the brown generally in the same areas that I was adding the red and the purple. I'll also use some of that brown in the cast shadows onto the plate. I don't want to use too much brown because I don't want to make the pie look burnt, but I do want to use it to add some extra darkness and push the contrast. Again, layering on that yellow will help mix all these colors up together, and a little bit of yellow in the whipped cream on that right side won't hurt either, just to warm it up a bit. 
Now at this point, we have used all of the colors that we're going to be using in this drawing. However, we're not finished yet. We need to keep rotating through these colors again so that we can build up the layers of pencil and really add some vibrancy to the piece. So I'm going through each color again, somewhat in the same order, and just adding additional layers of them. As I layer my colors, I just wanna make sure that the inside of my pie remains a lighter yellow-orange color and that it's darker along the top. And as I work, I wanna cover up the paper as much as possible in the areas that should be darker so that it looks more finished. While I know I want my plate to be white in color, I don't want the entire plate to all have the same amount of brightness, so I add a little bit of color in just small amounts to many areas of the plate so that only the lightest, brightest areas remain pure white. I add some extra contrast behind the crust so that it gets a little darker back there on the plate, making the highlights stand out more. And besides adding extra contrast, I add some extra spices for some texture on the whipped cream, on the pie piece, and even on the plate using brown, orange, and red little dots and small squiggly lines. This makes it look like spices and texture are throughout the pumpkin pie, which adds more realism. I don't know about you all, but this drawing is making me hungry. I think this piece of pie looks good enough to eat. I hope this video has helped you understand how to begin and finish a colored pencil drawing of a slice of delicious pumpkin pie and that you can make one yourself to impress your friends and family. Thanks for watching, bye.